So there's Shea Bear over there, and we are not far from the house. We have been here before. We have showed you a boat, that airboat that went over that ramp right there. Um, yeah, so we've never car camped before. Yeah, well, we've never camped here. Not together. I've car camped, but not. No, but I mean, yeah. Yeah. But we've never camped here. No, we have never camped here. We did try to fish here once, but I it didn't. I cast it out twice. Yeah. And brought in seaweed both times. Yeah. So. so, it didn't really work out. It's very shallow yeah. here. We're not going to fish today. No, we just came out. <coughs> we just came out to get fresh air and take Bruno out, you know. Bruno out cause he wants to camp, right? He he. What did he do last night to show us that he that wanted could be your camping? Story time. Oh, you want me to keep it for story yes, time? Yes, because that's a good one. Okay, I'll keep it for story time. We're going to do a couple of stories, so there we go. Anyways, when we get things all organized, we're going to yeah, put the bed all, in, and we're yeah. going to eat, and we're going to just sit around and hang out. Yeah, we're just getting out for fun. We, yeah. Ever since we've got this, we've talked about <coughs> camping out in it. So. Right, so we're going to try this. And we might do it again after this if we like it enough. Yeah, it's just, it's close to the road, but that's okay. Yeah, it's a little noisy. People are going home from work. It is Friday, so. It won't be bad later. No, it'll be very quiet out here. It's like a very quiet once it gets a little darker. So, there we go. So, stay tuned. There'll be more. Okay guys, we got an airboat coming. Got Bruno here excited. Look at he happy. So we're hoping it's gonna go over the, the bridge. The little bridge here. I don't know if he'll go with her here or not. But anyway, we're waiting. There he is. Seem to get one. Music. Well, we'll just talk loud. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. Well, maybe not. Yeah, he's gonna go around. You're not gonna go over. Too bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. You never know. He might change his mind. He's, mm. he's thinking. Yeah. He at it. <laughs> Maybe he's never done it before. Ah. Okay. I've seen him on the road. Oh well. Maybe next one. Well, that was a excitement disappointment <laughs> but it's cool to see an airboat anyways more adventures like, are to come hopefully I don't know if that was an Allison engine 
but it looks like we'll be back. Engine. Okay, Shaver's working on the bed, kind of. And there he is, blowing away. <laughs> you gotta do that. <laughs> yep. So, keep blowing, babe. Let's see you blow. <laughs> He's getting it. I told him I would help him with if he needed it. Oh, no. He, he said he would do it. So, there he goes. He got it. Very good. Got it. Yay. About three. Bad. A very healthy person can do half it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, so we kind of put the beds together. Shaber did most of the work. I'm holding Bruno. So, there we go. Nice and cozy. I brought an extra blanket too, just in case we get cold. Or Bruno gets cold. Because. He ain't got much fur, but I think we'll be just fine. It's only supposed to be 64 tonight. That's perfect. Yeah, so I don't think it's going to be real bad. So, yeah. 75 right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't think it'll be bad at all. Okay. On to the next thing. I, was, I was going to cook it back in the car, but it got real windy all of a sudden soon as we turned our cameras on. So, I'm in between the doors of the car here. And I forgot the butter. Oh no. And so, I got it out, but it's over there. Okay, I'll go get okay, it. Okay, so Monkey got the butter. Got these little things. Take long to melt this. No. They're cute. Perfect for bacon and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Set this over here. Dispose of that here in a minute. Wish we had a wood camp stove. Oh, yeah, that's right. What happened to it? <laughs> I don't know, because I wasn't there when that happened to it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to melt this down. This is not a recipe. I'm just throwing the chicken in. I didn't even flour it. I was going to flour it before it left the house. And I forgot, so. All right. Well, let's go ahead. I can throw that in there. It's just butter. My piece. Nice. Give Monkey the big piece. Leftover from our teriyaki night. Yeah. Well, there were still two more, but we froze them, so. Okay. Alright, I'll bring you back in a minute. We're going to make some macaroni and cheese. Okay. one in the truck down in here, remember? Yeah. Why don't I have one in this car? I don't know. Because whether you smoke or not, you should always have a lighter with you. Right. You know? Yeah. I don't have one in my purse here. What happened, babe, to your lighter? You filming? Yeah. I'm always harping on you guys to... The more I go down, that don't mean put your camera down. It means put it up. There we go. I'm always harping on you guys to bring a lighter with you. I do have a lighter. But it, it went pop. Huh? What did it do? Nothing. That's the problem. The uh, yeah. flints ran out. Wow. That's why you buy the big ones and not these. Well, those you've been getting free. Yeah, these are free. These these ones are cheap. These crickets don't buy them. Buy a Bic. Because yeah. I, I can use a Bic for almost a year. Yeah. And I'm a smoker. So, you know, I mean, that's a lot of strikes. Right. Um, so what I got to do is, in order to light my cigarette, I have to use this thing, my fire striker, to light the gas stove to light a cigarette. How because I did not bring, I did not put one in my bag. No. In my 
year. And probably because I thought, well, I got a fire striker. I always carry a lighter. But see, I've always got ways to make a fire, so that's good. Yes. So, yeah. So there's the chicken cooking down there. Okay, it's a lot darker than what the camera's going to show. The camera's always going to be lighter than what it is out here. There's the chicken. There's the cooking. Yeah, yeah I always carry a good lighter. Don't mess with these crickets. Get a big. But these were free. Yeah. Anytime we buy three packs of cigarettes, he gives us a free lighter. Yeah. So if you if you got those, carry at least two. Because <laughs> that's the problem I always found with those. Yeah, the flint will fly out or just run out before the gas does. Uh -huh. So, and the good thing about a Bic is the gas will run out before the flint does. So even though the gas is out, you still got a sparking device that I have started fires with that way before. I'll do a video on it sometime. Because I do have my Bic that just ran out the other day. That black one you bought me a year ago, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. It just ran out the other day. That's why I'm using this cricket. Hmm. Sorry, guys. So, there you go. There you go. some chiffy pop popcorn. Yeah, this is Road, right? What road is this? I can't remember. Oh. No, this is um is this no. What road is this? Oh, we're on Turner Camp. Road. Yeah, Turner, Turner Camp. Camp. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, another story for you because I got to use this thing. <laughs> So I gotta light my cigarettes for the rest of the night. Another story. I got two stories. Come on, we're going to Jiffy Pop Pop. Are you gonna pop pop it? Or are you gonna make me do it? I can do it if you turn it around. I get close. Watch your hand. Okay, we Jiffy Pop Pop why they are it, broke down. Yeah, you need to. <laughs> oh, now. Okay. So we'll start popping. Pop, pop. <laughs> right, we're gonna let her do her thing. I'm gonna pop my pop. There it goes. <gasps> Look how fast that is. <laughs> oh, that guy's coming back. Maybe he's gonna help them. I don't know. It's gonna get noisy, guys, but we'll yeah. turn it down for you. Yeah, it's gonna get noisy because the other airboat's coming. Maybe they'll help him. Okay, slow down. Let it start popping. Once you hear pop, start shaking. Oh, here he comes, babe. Here he comes. See? There he is. I can't spin my light around because I don't want to blind him. He's going over. Oh, my God. Ah. Wow. Is that an airboat? No, it was a regular boat. It was a yeah, it was just a regular boat. Yeah, I thought maybe they were helping them. Hold it down. Okay, take it, but hold it close. <laughs> it's burning.
too. Just pop it a little bit, guys. Yeah, if I get a little bit of it. <laughs> Damn it. If you guys haven't checked out Outdoors McGee, check out his very last video. Oh my god, that's too freaking funny. Problems too and... <laughs> well, there's some left. It's okay. All of it popped pretty yeah. good. Yeah, it did. Better well, than not that. all, but better than I thought. Okay. <laughs> There you go, guys. I'll kick you back on when the more exciting stuff happens. Yeah, there's my popcorn. <laughs> and I guess this is Bruno's. <laughs> or the birds. And there's your brand new phone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't do both. I'll be back. Here he comes, babe. Here he comes. See? There he is. Yeah. I can't spin my light around because I don't want to blind him. <laughs> Damn it. If you guys haven't checked out Outdoors McGee, check out his very last video oh God, because he pretty much had funny. some problems too. And... Okay, guys. <laughs> we do that a lot. So, they got their boat. Yeah. They went and got his truck and trailer. And it took him a while. It took him forever. But apparently they were out of gas or something. Anyway, had a guy bring him gas, which I don't know why because they didn't start it back up. Mm -mm. And his truck and trailer, so they just backed down over there and loaded the boat up, winched it up onto the trailer. So, yeah. But, uh, so anyway, they did get it running. It did start up and run, so they must have been out of gas. I think he tilted the gas tank or whatever to see if that's what it was but so he had a bad day yeah i felt bad for him a couple hours he was over there yeah about two hours waiting on them to come back they left him by himself nobody would stay with him yeah. so anyway monk mm -hmm. and tell your story now my story yeah tell your story first oh my story about bruno yeah. story time <laughs> 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 Story time. <laughs> I was just kidding, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so last night we're laying in bed. Well, I'm laying in bed. Shaver's over by the computer because he's working on one of his videos that you've seen that he loaded yeah. up last night. But so. earlier in the night. Yeah, earlier in the night. So we're kind of watching TV. No, I mean earlier in the night we were outside. We were outside. With Bruno. What about? What was we talking about? I was telling you about what happened in the bedroom. What was we talking about last night? We were talking about camping, that yeah. we need to go camping because it was nice outside. So, um... It's raining. Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> My watch just told me it was raining. So, we were outside talking about that, and, uh, so, we came in, and I'm watching TV on the bed, and so Bruno gets up there on his side of the bed, and he 
has his pillows, he has two pillows, and he has yeah, a pillow, on my side, yeah. uh, propped up. <laughs> and so Bruno actually took the one, his pillow and put it on top of him, and he got underneath it and crawled up in a ball. Like he was making a little tent. A little fort. Yeah, a little fort. So I think that was our hint that we need to go camping. So. Yeah, and then after that, when I got into bed, he got down and got underneath the bed. There's like a cave under there for him to go through. Yeah. So he was... Yeah. <laughs> so it was kind of like his little camping trip. He made a fort. Yeah. But that was cute. He just started nudging under that pillow. I thought, because he likes to try to bury his treat sometimes. So we was watching him. I said, I bet he got a treat under there. But he didn't. He got under there. And he got all the way under. And all you could see was the pillow moving every yeah, once in a while. Yeah, yeah it was so cute. <laughs> it was cute. like he made a little tent. <laughs> we wish we had it on video because that was a really cute. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are. We are camping. So. Yep. But we're car camping. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well... Stealth camping. <laughs> this is really not a campsite. No. But, huh. you know, I've had people ask me, won't you do some stealth camping? Because the way I feel about that is I feel like if I do that, I'm, I'm smacking every trucker and every homeless person in America for doing that. Right. Because they have to. Homeless people, they have to do it. They have no choice. Yeah. And for me to go out and try to monetize my video for monetary gain and go, look, I'm stealth camping, I shouldn't be here. And, you know, there's a guy a mile up the road that has no choice. Right. And the reason why I said truckers is they do it every night. Mm -hmm. Every night, you know, they pull over, they get in the back, and they sleep. Yeah. I don't see the big hype in this, you know, sleeping in a Walmart parking lot. No. And all these people, oh, I turned my van into a camper. Hmm. So... You know, I, I bought a bus, turned it into a camper, so, because one, one night she made a good point. She said, well, you know, the pioneers did that with horses and wagons. That's right. That was their camper. Yeah. They would drive all freaking day long. Yeah. Nighttime, they'd set up camp. Mm hmm They'd sleep in the back of their thing, and some of them even had a little, what they called, pot belly stoves in them. Yeah. So, you know, we're talking 17, 1800s. Mm hmm I don't see the big hype in it, you know. I building either, a camper really. out of a van. I mean, it's not that hard. No. Or a bus, you know. Look, I built a camper. And a lot of them guys, you know, I've only got 10 grand in the stuff. And I uh, only gave, you know, 12 grand for the for the van. And so I only got two, $22,000 in this camper. A camper that's, you know, 15 years old. Right. That you had to do all the work to. You can go buy a decent camper five years old for that kind of money. Right. It's already a camper. I don't see the hype in it. I'm not cutting them down, so my haters, whatever. I'm just saying I don't see the hype in it, and I really don't like the uh, stealth camping for that reason because there's people out there living under bridges. But then you got this, you know, big-time YouTuber camping under a bridge for monetary gain, you know, for yeah. views and stuff when there's a guy up the road that has no choice. Yeah, you know, because getting nothing. Because if we get made to leave, we just go home. Right. You know, if this guy, if the if the guy that honestly really has nowhere to go, if he gets made to leave in a in a rainstorm, snowstorm, he's got no choice. No, he has to sit in it or walk around. In you know, it. you can't be under this bridge. He's got to go try to find somewhere else. He can't just go. Okay, well, my camping trip's over. I'll just go home to my nice warm bed. I just. You know, I, I have a problem with that. I really do, you know, because, like I said, there are, and there's homeless vets out there that are doing that, you know, that have to, and they don't have a choice. And, but that's why I never got into stealth camping, because, you know, I mean, <laughs> I drove a truck for a couple of years, and I did it every night, you know, mm -hmm. pull over somewhere and jump in my bunk, and, Go to sleep. I, I mean, you know, it's not like it hasn't, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, all right. You got any more stories? Yeah. You do? No, I was waiting for What did you just say, yeah? I thought you meant you want my story. You guys might be moving a little bit because, well, we do have gimbals built in, or the right. boss stabilization. Mm -hmm. So, but you guys are on our ma air mattress. <laughs> she didn't bring a tripod. <laughs> no. So, I took her... 
headband thing for her camera. Uh, I took the band off of it. It's real easy to take off. But it's also got a clip. So I got that clipped on to my band on my camera. <laughs> so we're using one tripod. And her camera's mounted onto my camera. So that's go. pretty cool. I'll take a picture of it with my phone. I'll throw it in this video. How we got, how we got this set up. <laughs> you know, it like works. I said, in survival it's situation, good. your number one tool is up here. Yeah. So if we were in a survival situation... I could have two camera angles on one tripod filming our demise. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I said that earlier. She was like, can you put that another way? <laughs> uh, but, so, yeah, anyway. So, good story, Monk. Yep. And he's happy. <coughs> he's at the bottom of my feet, so he's happy. Oh, yeah, he loves being out. You notice how quiet he's been all day, like, since we've been here? Yeah. yeah, he got underneath the truck there and laid there watching these people over here. And he didn't bark one time. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, he loves them air boats. Yeah, yeah, he likes them. Yeah, I gotta have some air. You want me to put the window down? No, because that means you gotta get out, turn the key on. I don't know, I might be able to crawl, but then. No, we're not doing that. We're doing our film. <laughs> okay, so, alright. I got kind of a spooky story for you. So been about a week or so ago about a week two ago week two <laughs> a week two ago uh, -huh. uh last week maybe or maybe the week before wasn't that long ago so you know like i still you know i don't sleep i get like three hours a night or whatever but anyway it was like i was about three o'clock in the morning and this is kind of like the way our bed is set up you know she's on my right i'm on her left <laughs> and to her right, there's a wall. Well, she got, you know, room between the bed and the wall. But that's where the wall is, which has a window there. And that's where we have our air, window air conditioner. So we got drapes, you know, hanging. Just those light, light drapes, you know, mm -hmm. curtains. Right. So, and just something out of the corner of my eye. And, and so I'm looking this way at the TV on that wall. Something out of the corner of my eye, you know, you see something moving. I looked over just in time to see that drape coming back down. It was as if somebody walked past and pulled that drape, you know how, you know, and pulled that drape a good foot and a half, 18, or a foot, 18 inches. And Bruno lay down. He's sneaking. He thinks I don't see him. He's low crawling. I don't know when I'm hitting the tripod. So... You know, like if you walk past drapes and the drapes move, and then when they, when you walk walk away from them, they go back. That's what happens. So I thought it was Bruno down there because he has that's where his bed is. And I looked over; he's on my computer chair, which was on my left. Uh, Snickers here because I was looking. She woke up and she was like, "What's wrong?" I said, Is "Snickers over there." She said, "No, why?" So I opened up the bedroom door, looked down in the living room. Snickers was on the couch. So what moved that? And there wasn't no, no, not there wasn't that much air coming through that goddamn. No, because uh, I have a towel there yeah, blocking it. There wasn't no air. There wasn't that much air coming through that. By and by the way, the the uh, air conditioner wasn't on. No. So there, the there was fan. no reason, or the fan, the no, ceiling fan wasn't on. It's there. been cold. Okay, so there was no reason <laughs> for right. that to be moving that far. And just come back, it, it, you know, even when the ceiling fan is on, you can barely see it moving. Yep. But this was like somebody pulled the drape over and just let it go and come back. Hmm. Never done it. it. Hasn't done it since, but it's never done it for, before either, for sure. So, that's my story. Well, I got one more I already mentioned on her video clip. So, you know, I'm always harping on you guys. Make sure you carry a lighter sure you carry lighter and I do and it's, mm. it's wow uh, it's, look it's, how full yeah, it is it's almost oh full oh my god and Can't. the flint flew out a little bit this is a cricket these things are junk but these I've been getting free anytime we buy anytime we buy three packs of cigarettes he gives us a free lighter yeah just one of the 79 cent so, when you carry a lighter, carry a Bic, because my last Bic 
she bought me a black one I used for a year, about a year. And the flint's still good in it, so I still got a spark in case I need to, uh, which I've done before. Maybe I'll do a video on that, just a spark with a, with a dead lighter. Right. And you can start a fire. Um, but these ones, it's always the flint goes, always. I've had them, the, actual, the flint actually seen them fly out before on these. So, what I've been doing when I light my cigarette, I've got this, my fire striker, and I use that to strike my little propane stove. Yeah, it works. And then light my cigarette with that. It works. <laughs> it works. Um, because I've got like uh, two or three lighters in my tackle box. For some reason, I didn't put one in my backpack, probably because I'm thinking I always have one in my pocket. All right. But in this case, yeah, these things, if you're going to carry a lighter, you got to carry two of these, that's for sure. I've had them brand new, not even light. I mean, you know, just brand new, first strike, and flint fly out. These, these crickets suck. But get you a bick, you know, throw it in your pocket. Because, you know, like I said, I smoke half a pack a day, and that, that lighter, that bick lighter lasted me about a year. So, you know, and... It lights a lot because, like, sometimes, you know, I go garage and smoke. I'll smoke a little bit of a cigarette, put it out. I'll come back out, light it. So, you know, sometimes it's lighting three times. It's lighting one cigarette. So that's a lot of strikes and a lot of lights. Um, and people say, yeah, but it's eventually going to run out of fluid. Comes about. Yep. It's eventually going to run out of fluid, which is true. mentioned earlier hardly any airboats out tonight and I said well you want to see an airboat I'll turn the camera on there you go <laughs> I can't be out in the middle of nowhere I know. so but <laughs> anyway so they're like you know well it's eventually gonna it's going to uh, run out of fluid true but you still got a spark right and they're like you know your fire striker indefinitely no they will wear out too because it's flint. Right. You know, it's just all it is. I mean, it's, you know, and they can break. So I'm not saying don't carry one. I'm saying always have two ignition sources at least. A lighter and, but just normal everyday situations. You know, throw one in your glove box. Keep it in every vehicle you got. You got a boat, throw one in there. Throw one in your tackle box. Right. You know, a lighter. But, yeah, it's like, so, oh, what I was getting at was if you, you know, I mean, if you can't get help in a year, by the time that Bic lighter runs out, mm -hmm. and besides, once you get a fire going, you know, providing you got the resources, you can keep that thing going all night long. Mm -hmm. Or you build a, a big, good fire, and the next day you still got coals, you don't have to relight, use your lighter every time. Right. So, I don't, I you know... But it runs out of fluid. Yeah, it does. But, geez, if you can't get help by the time you use that Bic up, you're probably going to be there for a while. <laughs> you probably got a cabin built now. and mm -hmm. you know. So that was my story time. That was her story time. And I don't know. I may turn you guys back on. You got? You want to talk to yours, say anything? Or? Uh, you, you did most of it. You tell interesting stories. Tell us another one. You have good stories. I don't know. What do you want to hear about? Anything. I can tell you about the time I got my ass kicked by a deer. What happened? I got my ass kicked by a deer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just said, what happened? How did it happen? Okay, so me and my buddy Dave, we called him Dupe. Dupe. Short for Dupre. <laughs> he was just, anyway, <laughs> funny guy. <laughs> so we <laughs> we was out deer hunting, right? So mm -hmm. you know he's over. I can see him. You know he's about a hundred yards away to my right. So and you know I'm pointing this way, and he's pointing like that way. You know, so we got we got everything covered, and we can see what's coming between left and right. Mm -hmm. So we had it covered, you know. So I wasn't gonna shoot that way, and he wasn't gonna shoot this way. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it was all safe and everything, and. Sure enough, here comes a doe. Big old doe. 
coming down and she's looking around. I'm like, come a little bit farther, a little bit farther. And I'm aim. I'm, I'm right at her, right? And I'm waiting. I just want that good because I like to make one clean shot, right? Mm -hmm. And she stepped out from behind this tree and I went, <whistles> and she stopped and looked and that's all it took. I dropped her right there. Good line shot. I know some of you guys, if you don't like hearing about that, you might want to fast forward. So, dropped her right down. I'm like, yeah, and here come I hear Dave, all right, Marty. Mm -hmm. And I hear him shuffling ass up through the woods. So, uh -huh. I'm standing there, and I get my gut knife out, getting ready to gut her. But I'm thinking, well, you know, I'll let Dave catch up. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. And I light the cigarette. I <laughs> just get it lit, and I hear, <laughs> Only I'm looking at Dave, and I hear this behind me, right? Mm -hmm. And I turn around. Here's the, this buck. I mean, he, he had kind of a, he just had a small basket rack. He was like seven or eight point, but he was a big body deer, right? Huge deer. It must have been his mate I killed. So <laughs> this thing just just like like body checks me like you would a boom and knocks me down, right? And I'm like crap. So. Knife flies out of my hand. <laughs> oh, shit. So he starts this shit on me, right? And I'm down, and I'm trying. <laughs> and I hear Dave laughing his ass off. I'm like, dude, help. He's like, I ain't getting involved in that. <laughs> and I'm like, do something. <laughs> so what's he do? He comes over and kicks the knife closer to me. <laughs> <laughs> and runs back away a little bit. Oh, no. So <laughs> the whole time he's got his cell phone. He's filming this whole thing, right? Filming this whole thing, right? Uh -huh. so, so I grab this, this box antlers with my left arm, and I got him, and I got him twisted. And I remind, this is a fight, and I can't do it in here. But it, I mean, this this is a fight. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, a fight fight. I never fought a man that, that strong. Uh -huh. But, you know, I he was trying to get me, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> I finally got my knife, and, you know, I, I did what I had to do. I mean, which I had to call that in because, you know, I only had a tag for a doe, and I killed a buck. Mm. So I had to call the game warden, they come out and checked it, and they found out this story was true. But the whole time, he's filming, he didn't hit record. Oh, no. So he never got no, it. No, but he was laughing the whole time. He's like, get him, Marty, kick his ass. <laughs> Dupe, I need help. He comes over, he like skittishly comes over, kicks a knife closer to me, and runs back. It was like, I, I wasn't about to get enough scrap with you. <laughs> Gee, thanks. You know, because we'd been in boardroom scraps before. He had my back. He's right there, you know. Yeah. Good guy to have around. But when it came to that deer, he didn't want no part of that. <laughs> was, I knew you could take him. Like, I mean, the deer outweighed me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It dressed out like 190 pounds. I was only like... Bruno, sit down, please. And I was only like, you know, 165 then, maybe 170. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I just had to lay there for a minute, you know. Uh -huh. I'm just like, oh, I'm out of breath. And Dave's like, the, the, the warden's name was Roby Williams. He's like, you gonna call Mr. Roby? I'm like, you know what, shut the fuck up. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's just laughing the whole time. And there for a while, he... He started it and got my friends calling me Buck for a while because I got in a fight with a deer, a buck deer. Uh -huh. I'd be walking through the store, hey, Buck! <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> wow. But, yeah, I mean, if I didn't have a knife, he would have kicked my ass. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, they were in rut, so. Right. You know, you mess with it. I didn't see him. And I said, Dave, did you see that? Did you see the buck? And he said, well, I've been watching him. He said, he kind of went in front of me, but I didn't have a shot. And I said, by that time, he said, by that time, he was behind you, uh -huh. behind me. So he couldn't shoot in my direction. Uh -huh. He said, well, I couldn't get your attention. Because, uh -huh. you know, I could have spun around and got that deer. Right. I didn't know he was back there. Uh -huh. But Dave couldn't get my attention because I'm watching this doe. I wasn't looking over here at Dave. I'm watching this doe, right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <coughs> True story. But, so anyway, that's my story time. Okay. Very good. I, I never told you that story. Uh -uh. <laughs> that's a true story. That's yeah. funny. That's 
funny. Yeah. He's like, I recorded the whole thing. Oh. He's like, well, that's good. At least we got something out of it. He goes, oh, wait. <laughs> no, I <it> didn't. <laughs> oh, no. He did take a picture, but it was pointed down. He got nothing. <sighs> except a good story to tell his grandchildren. <laughs> right. That's one of those things that really happened that nobody will believe you, you know? Right. Well, the game warden had to believe me because, I mean, there was no bullet hole in that deer. Hmm. And he didn't want to shoot at the deer. Right. I mean, you know, he could have shot me. So, you know, there wasn't no bullet hole in the deer, and it just had his neck cut. So, you know, he was like, well, I, ha I, I have no choice but to believe it because who's going to jump on a deer to slice his throat, you know? Right. <laughs> I mean, it was self-defense. <laughs> Thank God I didn't have to go to trial on that. Mm. <laughs> it was, seriously, self-defense. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. And, and the rack wasn't that great, I mean. No. No, it was, real, it, like I said, it was a little basket rack. Mm. Seven or eight point, but they were small tines. They were just little. It was a big body deer. So I did get, get enough meat. I did give some meat to Dave, too. Because mm. I had two deer. <laughs> well, I kept the buck, and then the uh, the doe. I gave some. I gave a bunch of meat out of the doe to Dave, and then um, the rest of it we took the Salvation Army. And, yeah, our Salvation Army in Ohio, my hometown, they give out deer meat. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, but that's my story. So anyway, I'm gonna kick you guys off, and I'm gonna try to get some of these mosquitoes out of here for Monkey. They are all over because you know we are on this water here in this little peninsula, and I do have the door open because it's hot in here. So, all right, I think Monkey's got to go pee. She's like, How do I pee? Start to pee. <laughs> you start bringing a bucket. That'll be interesting. I shall film it. No, you shall not. <laughs> I'll use your camera. No, you will not. <laughs> My phone? No. Alright. I'll be back with you guys. Hey everyone, this is Bucky 1000 and we have... Who are you? I don't know. Shea Bear with us. <laughs> anyway, so... What did we happen last night? Nothing. No, pretty much nothing. <laughs> uh, we, we came home. Yeah, we came home. What, about Early. 11 o'clock? It was 11 o'clock exactly. Yeah. Which, if you watch my video, you will have seen that. It just started to rain, and the water started to rise yeah. to where we were. So we were worried that by morning we might be floating a little bit. So we, we decided it wasn't a good thing to stay there. And we could have moved up, but if we moved up, we would have been on a hill. So it wouldn't have been very nice to very sleep in. Yeah. Right? So we decided just to come home. It was pouring rain, so we just came home. Yeah, water got about two feet from the truck, so. Yeah. It wouldn't have floated the car or the truck. It wouldn't have got that bad. In fact, I don't think it would have got to the truck. But there was a dip where we pull out of yeah. that would have filled up. It was filling up with water, so we would have had to go through water to get up out of there. And I was like, yeah, let's just not chance it. i got to keep her safe. You know, so. Yeah. so anyway, so we came home early. But I'm going to put up the video. It was still fun. Yeah. yeah. This is Saturday. So we always have fun. In the afternoon. So I'm just doing my thing, and I'm going to upload the video. Yeah. It's kind of funny, too. But it was, yeah, it was still fun, though. Yeah, we had, had fun. Time. We had a good time. Bruna had fun. Yeah, it was an interesting evening, really. We yeah. had entertainment and everything, as you'll see. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we're going to say goodbye for now, and have a good day. What's the rest of it? Bye, guys. Bye.